channel Math with Jeeva. In this video onwards, I am going to start a new series which you were waiting for. It is about geometry. Again, this will be a longer series like algebra. So, I am planning to cover each and every small point with regard to geometry from the very basic level. Right. Before starting the video, I want to tell you, when you are watching this geometry lesson, it's better to have a geometry book or else few pieces of papers and your mathematical instrument books. That is, uh, you want to have protractor, a pair of compasses, ruler, then a pencil, sharpener and eraser. Because when I am explaining, it's better if you can do the same thing while pausing the video, especially when we come to the construction part, right? So, without wasting our time, let's get started. So, it's geometry, right? Forget about all these terms, geometry, constructions, angles, forget about everything. Now, tell me, what are they? What are they, children? They are straight lines, right? Okay. So, are there any relationship between these two lines? No. Separately, I have drawn two lines, right? Now, look at this. Now, look at this. What are they? Again, two straight lines. Now, can you see any relationship between these two lines now? Earlier I drew two lines, then you said they were straight lines and I asked are there any relationship? No. Now again I drew two straight lines. Now I am asking are there any relationship between these two lines? Yes, there is a relationship. Why? Because those two lines, they have met each other at a point, right? Ah, we... Name this as the vertex, right? We name this as the vertex. And the space between these two lines, we name it as an angle, right? Huh. After having an angle, after meeting each other at the vertex, now we don't call them straight lines. Now we name them as arms. So here one arm and the other arm. So two straight lines met together at the vertex. The space between these two straight lines we name it as the angle. After meeting each other at the vertex now this is the angle. Now we don't name them as straight lines. Instead we call them arms. Ah. Two arms get together at the vertex, the space between those two arms we call angle. Right. Keep that point in your mind. Now, I want to tell you something. Now, look at this. Have you seen your wall clock? Yes. Today, I brought one to show you. Look at this. Right. Now, can you see the time? It's 12, right? Okay. Now, what happened? You know, you have three... Uh, normally, most of the time you have three hands. Let's say, uh, main two hands, our hand and minute hand. Now, look at this and check what happens, right? Now, the long hand is moving. Can you see? The long hand is moving. Earlier, it was at 12 and it was moving. Come back to... 12. Now what happened? It was at 12 and it moved clockwise and came back to 12. Now tell me what happened. So he has completed a turn, right? One turn. We name it as a revolution. Now you may think why, what I am talking about. So I introduce an angle. Then I am talking about uh, revolutions. Now look at this. Okay, again, it was like this. Earlier it was like this. Everybody can see this? Yes. Now what happened? 
he is moving and came back to 12 again. One complete turn, it is a revolution. Right. If so, children, look at this. Without going a complete turn, right? Now what has happened? It's like this. Earlier he was here. Then, uh, now look at this. He has come up to this level. Now what happened? Can you see? And if the full circle is a revolution, right? Then what is this? It's a part. Right? Okay. Why I am telling all these things? I told you two arms get together at the vertex and the space between two arms we call the angle. And we can have different types of angle. Before identifying those types of angle, now I talked about a revolution, full circle and quarter one. Now look at this figure. Again, it's like an angle, right? Two arms we have. Now forget about the wall clock story. Now look at this figure. We have two arms. They have met together at the vertex. The space between these two arms we call the angle. But special name if it is a quartercell revolution we call it as right angle. What is that? It is a right angle. Hope everybody understood. Quarter revolution, it's a right angle. Let's say, no, now it's not that. The second, so this one has come up to this. Okay. Now what happened again? Look at this point. You want to keep, so it is not a straight line, right? There are two arms. They have met here at this point. The space between these two arms, it's like now what happens? Half, right? In a way, quarter plus another quarter altogether half. These type of angles we name straight angles. So, look at this, how we can write it. So, it is straight angles. Straight angles. Ah, I repeat. Now, look at this. If it is like this, exactly as a quarter, we name it as right angle. This is how we show it with this small square. Right? Right angle. And if it is like this, right? Uh -huh. We name it as straight angle or two right angles. Right. Then, today I am going to introduce many types of angles. Now children, look at this. If that particular angle is like this. Now look at this. So, two arms so, this is the angle, but the size of that angle is smaller than the right angle or as a quarter revolution. These type of angles we name, special name, an acute angle. It's an acute angle. Look at this. I'll write them. So, this is a right angle, right? Right angle. This is a straight angle and this is an acute angle. Right? As I don't have enough spaces, I wrote only the name. Right angle, straight angle, acute angle. Now look at this, what has happened. Now look at this. This angle larger than the right angle but smaller than the straight angle. That type of angle we call obtuse angle. What is that? 
obtuse angle. Now we identified four uh, angles exactly quarter revolution. We name it as right angle and this is how we show it with a small square and two right angles or as uh, like this. Exactly half revolution we call straight angle. An angle which is smaller than right angle we call the acute angle. An angle which is larger than the right angle but smaller than the straight angle we name it as obtuse angle. Now the one angle I want to introduce. Let's see here. We do like this. What is this? Look at this. Now what happened? It is larger than straight angle. Those types of angle we name it as what is the name children? We call them as reflex angle. Again I repeat part of revolution. No, we will start from the beginning. Two arms get together at the vertex the space between two arms we name it as an angle so there can be different types of angle to identify the different types of angles we talk about revolution uh, by using a wall clock then part of revolution again it's like an angle two arms uh, vertex the space between two arms we call right angle Again here two arms, the space between two arms we call the straight angle. Exactly it is two right angles. An angle which is smaller than right angle we call the acute angle. An angle which is larger than right angle but smaller than straight angle we call it obtuse angle. Any angle which is larger than straight angle it has gone like this. We call it reflex angle. Right. Children. So now I told different types of angle. The space between the arms. In each angle differs from one angle to another angle. That means the magnitude of the space. Or the space between these arms uh, differs from one angle to the other angle. Now tell me. How can we measure it? Have you seen this item in your mathematical instrument box? Yes. We call this the protractor. Right? Now, before discussing about protractor, everybody take your protractor out from your uh, mathematical instrument box? Yes. So, it's like this. And children, look at in the middle, in the middle, you can find a small dot. Here, look at this. In the middle, you can find a small dot. We call it the center. And the in the bottom, you can find a line. In the bottom, you can find a line. Right? You can find a line. It is, we call the baseline. And look at carefully. You can see two readings. Or else two scales. Inside and outside. Inner scale and outer scale. Look at it carefully. Now you know the center of the protractor and the baseline. And you have two readings or two scales. Inner scale and the outer scale. Which scale you are going to use to measure an angle. I'll tell you in a separate video with my large protractor. So, I can't explain it using this small one. I'll explain it uh, in a separate video. What you want to do till then. So, this is the protractor. We use protractor to measure the angle size or else the space. What is the amount of space or else uh, the magnitude of uh, angles in between those two arms. Now we can see the magnitude or the space between these two arms 
differ from one angle to the other angle. So these are the main types of angle. Right angle, straight angle, acute angle, obtuse angle and reflex angle. So protractor we use to measure the angle. What is the unit? Look at that. It is in degrees. We name it, let's say, let's say for an example, 60. That's the magnitude. How do you show it? 60 degrees. That is how you want to show it. 60 degrees. Okay, children. So, in this video, I am covering only up to that part. I told you this will be a longer series. One by one, step by step, we learn geometry. Most of the students, you think this is very difficult. No, not at all. This is very easy and very interesting portion in your math subject. Only thing you want to learn it in an interesting way, right? We talk about angles, types of angles, revolution, quarter revolution, half revolution, how we are going to measure it, what is the instrument you have and what are the features of it? Yes. We'll continue the introduction of geometry with our next video. See you children and also we don't know. When we can go to school again. So during these unexpected holidays. You watch these videos. If you feel I can understand her lessons well. Please share about our YouTube channel. Math with Jiva. You will be a master of geometry. Right. See you children.